Hey guys, it's Jared again and welcome back to Bullet Hell Heaven. Now typically I don't get into horizontal shooters. I couldn't really tell you why, but the vertical perspective just suits the Danmaku style of shooters so much better. However, I have been known to venture outside my personal taste every once in a while, and I gotta tell you I'm glad that I did. Gundamonium belongs to a trilogy of games produced by the well-known Japanese doujin game author Eiju Murasame, also known as Plan Plantine Pl Pl Platine Dis Pot Fuck it. Recollection is a modern remake of the first Gundamonium game, and in my opinion, the most balanced and fun entry in the series. When starting the game, you are given a choice between five different character types, each with their own weapons, specials, and specific playstyles, one of which is customizable, but we'll dig deeper into that later. Gameplay in Recollection is frantic and incredibly fun once you get over the learning curve. Your character, like any other bullet hell game, can attack with their main weapon and use screen and bullet clearing bombs but unlike a lot of shooters I've played, there's a third option, the mana ability. Each character's mana ability is different, and each can be a huge help in one way or another. Using these abilities drains your mana, which is replenished by green orbs gained from killing enemies. This makes using your mana ability a very strategic process. Each enemy in the game is well animated and have very detailed sprites. Their design is also creative and varied. Scrolling backgrounds in each level receive the same level of polish. They managed to be very busy and visually appealing, but never distracted me by taking my focus off the enemies or the bullets. Speaking of which, Recollection has some of the wildest and challenging bullet patterns I've seen in a shooter, often requiring some odd movements for those of you who, like myself, are used to certain traditions of the Maku style bullet hell games. Each stage is broken up into small sections, each of which may have more than one boss enemy, with one final stage boss at the end. These boss fights are a mixed bag. Some are really challenging, while others can be beaten a little too quickly by a couple of bombs and some well-placed mana attacks. In all honesty, the whole stage leading up to the boss is almost always more challenging. This isn't really a complaint, but more of a nitpick. The truth is, Recollection's gameplay is so tightly fine-tuned that I really struggle to find more than a minor hiccup here or there. But it wasn't that way at first. My initial experience with the game was pretty bad. And for a little reference, every game I review on Bullet Hell Heaven I play on hard mode, just to give you guys a good feel of the gameplay and a look at some of the more advanced bullet spreads. But with my first attempts at playing Gundamonium, I kept dying, sometimes within the first 10 minutes of the game. And this was after I bumped it down to the normal difficulty. In truth, I was ready to give up until I found two very important aspects of the game. Since this wasn't obvious to me at first, I'm going to assume some of you guys may have the same problem. So I'm going to walk you through the process of making this game a funner and fairer challenge. The first part seems like a no-brainer. Gundamonium, like many other Dojin PC shooters, slows the character down while the fire button is held down. This can be a godsend in a bullet curtain that leaves no room for error. A slower, tighter control is needed to navigate some of the more complicated patterns. But during other parts of the stage, this was getting me killed by fast-moving enemies, until I found that I could map this function to another button in the options menu. I'm using a 360 controller on my PC, so I just mapped the function to the right trigger. This way I could have the tighter, slower controls without sacrificing my speed when I needed it. My second piece of advice comes from the ability to customize your character I touched on earlier. By selecting the custom option while picking your character, the game allows you to create your own. In doing so, you can choose any weapon, mana attack, and bomb from any of the game's characters. You can even choose your body type which affects your movement speed. These two small tweaks help make this game an absolute blast. Switching between movement speeds on the fly, dodging insane bullet spreads, and using your bombs at just the right moment to avoid an untimely death all felt incredibly tight and insanely polished. In fact, the only real problem I have with Gundamonium Recollection is its rather short length. On the hard difficulty, this game can be beaten in around 2 hours or so, but it's guaranteed to be some of the most entertaining 2 hours you're likely to spend on any shooter. This remake of the original Gundamonium has incredibly fine-tuned mechanics, bright and beautiful graphics, an insane amount of customization, and the icing on the cake. It can be downloaded on Steam for a mere $3.99 and on the PlayStation Network for $5.99. It almost seems too good to be true, but it's with a hearty recommendation that I give Gundamonium Recollection Bullet Hell Heaven's highest score. 5 out of 5 bullets. This game is an absolute gem and a must play for any fan of the genre. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later. Well I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Bullet Hell Heaven. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to check out my other game reviews, go ahead and subscribe. Because once you've heard this sexy voice, it's almost impossible to become aroused without it.